in silent ships, you are trying to capture the opponent's country. You do this by getting one of your ships on top of their country at the end of their turn, and then you win the game. Now, to do this, you're going to have to play ships from your hand. So you're going to have a hand of cards, and they're all going to be different ships, and this value here is the attack value, and it doesn't cost anything to play down a ship. Now, um, because they have different attack values, the cards with the lower attack values generally have a stronger effect, so this speedboat can move further than other ships, uh, although it's a little weaker. Um, but you play them face down, and while they're face down, they have no effect. And you want to do this because you don't want your opponent to know what the attack value of your card is. And then when you're ready to use its effect, you can flip it face up and use its effect. Now, as, um, as you play ships and you're trying to reach the opponent's country, you're going to play it face down, and then you can move it as many times as you want, but every time you move a card or a ship, you're going to have to discard a card from your hand. So hand management becomes really important in this game. You want to choose which ships you play and um, how far you're going to move them and how many cards you're going to discard. Now, you also want to keep cards in hand, though, because on your opponent's turn, they're going to play their ships and potentially attack the ships you've played. And you'll want to keep cards in hand so that you can discard a card to, um, to retreat your ship if you don't think it will be a favorable battle. Now, of course, you won't know who will win until the battle actually happens. The cards are flipped face up, and you figure out which ship has the higher attack value. Another large element of the game are the island cards. These give you extra draw power, but they're off to the side. So your goal is to go on top of the opponent's country, but you're going to have to move one, two, three, or um, one, two spaces just to get onto the island to get your extra draw. And because this game is such a, a small game, you've only got 11 cards in your deck. Uh, as battles occur and ships sink to the bottom of the sea, these ships are going to be removed from play if there was a battle, and let's say um, the ramming ship with 8 attack value sunk the special operations craft with 3 attack value. Uh, the cards, the ships sink, and they're removed from play for the rest of the game. So as the game progresses, your deck, you're going to go through it many times. It's going to get thinner and thinner as some of these ships sink. And then the draw power is not going to matter as much because um, if you don't have any cards left in your deck to draw, you shuffle your discards back into the deck. And if you still have no cards to draw, you don't draw anymore. So um, gradually, the draw matters less and less, and it's kind of out of the way. So if you actually want to win the game, you're not going to want to be on these islands. So um, that about sums up the game, and um, thanks for watching.